Hey guys, my name is Ryan. And my name is Miska. And welcome to Overwatch Central. So we had a tweet sent to us at OW Central, which you should follow by the way, bringing us this topic that was sent in by Echo Fox. And the tweet says, are you going to make a video addressing the Reinhardt problem, the problem him being needed in every team? And they do raise a very valid point. Reinhardt is everywhere across all aspects of Overwatch. So having a hero being so dependent in the game, is it a blessing or is it a curse? Let's start with Reinhardt as of right now in the meta. Whilst tanks are in a healthy place overall, occasional sort of meta exploits do appear a bit now and then, such as the 3 tank, 3 support composition lately. Now this is a conversation for another day, but, but with our own eyes and the statistics of Planet Overwatch's site, we can clearly see that Reinhardt is used a hell of a lot and always has been since the dawn of competitive play. We'll go over exactly why in a second, but we are also seeing a similar problem with another hero. Lucio. Whilst support and tank heroes go up and down in the meta, Reinhardt and Lucio have always stayed involved and almost in the same spot at all times. And it will take a lot of nerfing, buffing of other heroes or even the addition of new and better ones to move them. So is this a good or bad thing? Well, for the good, let's say this. Some people have roles that they gravitate to. For example, for those of you that play World of Warcraft, there are those of you that will stick to tanks, DPS and supports. So some of you will just play DPS, whilst there are those of you that will just play healer. And it's just the same in Overwatch really. It's nice to find a role that suits you and then stick with it as some of us just don't have quite what it takes to be a hitscan god or sushi chef. But Reinhardt is a hero that performs a near unique role that no other hero or even tank can do. This is the reason as to why we see him in use constantly. Now some of you may think, oh wow, Reinhardt is a really good hero as he's used all the time. Time for me to just play him in Season 2 as he's always needed. And as a Reinhardt player, I can tell you that it doesn't work as well as you'd think. Reinhardt, much like Lucio, fulfills a role in a team. To protect his team with a shield and to clear out enemies with his ultimate. Now I love playing Reinhardt, but only in an organised team. And we all know that Season 2 ranked, depending on your rating, can be really good with communication or the ninth circle of hell with a lack of communication. Have you ever played Lucio in competitive and been frustrated that no matter how well you were playing, you can't carry your team and win it yourself? Good, because that's pretty much how Lucio and Reinhardt play. Reinhardt's not severe in this situation. I mean, you can protect your team, get some cheeky kills with the charge, and pound some noobs with the earth shatter, but you still rely so much on your team to kill the enemy Reinhardt shield, to get high value pickoffs, and to generally keep you alive. We all know that there is no I in Overwatch, but sometimes playing Reinhardt can leave you feeling like you're on another planet from your team when you aren't coordinated. So people just don't like playing him. So you kind of have to play Reinhardt, but also not rely on him too much? Yeah, pretty much. He's a hero you very often have to have on your team, and the only time you should really do without him is on control, which is a lot more balanced in terms of hero viability overall. Literally any of the other tanks can be played on there and will most likely do a better job than Reinhardt. But nobody protects their team better than Reinhardt does, as no other shield in the game comes even close to having 2000 HP. I mean, Sarah's shields are great, and Diva's defense matrix can mitigate quite a lot of damage in itself, but don't forget how much more reliable the shield is. It covers a wide area, it takes quite a while to burn down, and you can fit your whole team behind it. Overwatch has a lot of nasty choke points on maps like King's Row, Anubis, Hanamura, and now also Eichenwald. Not having that shield protection on these maps would be suicide, so that's why having a Reinhardt is so decisive in your team. Defending from incoming damage and assaults also requires a Reinhardt most of the time. I like to look at it like this. Reinhardt is a perfect wall, but also a fantastic battering ram. This becomes even more prominent and clear in high level competitive play, where Reinhardt mining games, positioning and timing play an enormous part in every fight. Reinhardt and Lucio are often overlooked as being simple and boring heroes to play. Yet both have dedicated players that play only those heroes in the eSports scene. Some of the pro players like Numlocked and Winghaven play these tanks, but it mostly boils down to Reinhardt on Assault and Escort, and Winston on Control. They dictate the positioning of the team, and it becomes a race to burst down the other Reinhardt shield. If you watch the pro teams, you will see how organised and coordinated they are in moving together. So of course Reinhardt is an important hero to have to protect his team of the shield. But in solo queue ranked, it can be quite difficult to get everybody to engage in the same way, or even to be on the same wavelength. Yet you still need the shield to protect your high value allies when going through tough situations such as ultimates, choke points, and all sorts of stuff. Have you ever tried getting through the first choke point on Anubis without a Reinhardt? It's incredibly difficult to do, and pretty much impossible to do it without losing a member of your team. So the problem isn't necessarily to do with how dependent Reinhardt is, it's the fact that Reinhardt is so dependent yet can be incredibly frustrating to play. You end up in the same Lucio situation. He's that good that you can't really play without him, 
but he fulfills his role stood still, making him for a lot of people pretty boring. So what can be done to fix this? Well, frankly, I don't know if it can be fixed, at least not until a hero that can perform the same functions comes along and can do Reinhardt's job in an alternative and maybe an even more effective way. But then this Reinhardt 2.0 will be completely dependent in the same way that Reinhardt is now, and Lucy is always going to be involved because he can easily help his team engage and disengage with his speed boost, and Reinhardt can be similar with his charge and team protection. It remains to be seen whether Reinhardt being so dependent is actually an issue that has to be resolved or not, or whether it's something we just have to accept. We've all been in that situation though, where you really want to run another tank, but are eventually forced into replacing one of them with a Reinhardt. You could have an amazing Sarya and an amazing Diva on your team, but without a Reinhardt on Escort and Assault, you're pretty much always playing at a disadvantage. So our tip is to get better at, or at least have basic knowledge of Reinhardt, as the time might come for you to be the shield bearer. And that's it for this video, thank you very much for watching. Do let us know what you think of Reinhardt in the comments below. And do let us know if there are any topics that you want us to go over. Do tweet them at us as well, which is OW Central. We do look at those and sometimes we pick ideas for videos from what you guys are tweeting us. So do let us know. Thanks for watching, take care, we'll see you next time.